In this video, I'm going to be covering the AMZ Scout Pro extension. And this is a tool you can use for product analysis to do a lot of different things. As you can see up here in the top right corner, it looks like this. You have to use this tool in Google Chrome as it is a Chrome extension. But what it allows you to do is analyze information on any Amazon page. So you can literally log, go to amazon.com, you can click on the, on the pro extension and it will pull up information about every single product on that page. Now let's, let's do it on, let's actually do a search. So it's not just pulling up, you know, hundreds of random products. Let's, let's pull up something like video games. Now the purpose of this tool is to give us all the information that we need so we can make informed decisions about products that we want to sell. It will help us to identify opportunities and feel good about purchasing that inventory because it's going to give us a lot of information about the history and the future of whatever product it is that we're selling. So say for example that you wanted to sell video games. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the AMZ Scout Pro extension in the top right hand corner right up here. As you can see, I have a number of different tools that I have access to, but right now we're going to be focusing on the AMZ Pro, uh, AMZ Scout Pro extension. So what this tool is going to do is going to give you a lot of information. For example, you're going to be able to know the average monthly sales for this category. So if you're saying, okay, I search video games, the top selling video games have an average sales of over 2000 per month. The average price is 97, so I'm assuming there's gonna be some consoles and different things down there. The average number of views, the saturation score. So the saturation score is a score from one to 10, showing you how many sellers have actually, in the past month, joined this category. So the saturation score is gonna be really important because you wanna know, okay, is there just tons of sellers coming into this, where a saturation score of one, obviously it's green, is looking good where red would be bad right and we'll go through all these in, in detail i just want to give you a, a brief overview but it also is going to give you things like product score so for example if you get a product score of 10 it'll say you'll have great margin on this product you'll be able to get de decent sales with even with a lower review count this listing is of average quality you can try and make it better to compete and there is big revenue opportunity. So if you happen to be able to purchase say this product and be able to sell it at 60 bucks, you know, you know that your FBA, so this is also gonna give you your FBA fees, your net margin, your estimated sales, your estimated revenue, and then the estimated number of reviews. And then you can click on any of these categories up here and it will, and it will sort everything by either by brand, by product score, by number of sellers, um, you know, by sales rank. So we can say, okay, I want the highest sales rank. I want to start from there. Or I want to start with the highest price, right? As you can see that they're they're selling, you know, consoles. I figured that's why the price was so high. Um, you can say, I want to look for fees, whatever it is. You can go click on any of these things. Or what I like to do is I click over here and I say, I want to find the ones on here that Amazon isn't selling, right? Now, I'm not going to go over all this in great detail in this video um, if, if Amazon happens to be in the buy box, this is what the seller uh, category over here is showing you is whether or not Amazon is actually in the buy box, right? If Amazon's in the buy box, per their rules, technically you can compete with them. Um, in, in my experience, usually they're able to buy products for a little bit less money than I can. So even when I'm able to compete with them at a certain price, they're always able to go lower than me. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't, but I always like to search for other opportunities because there's thousands of opportunities out there. You don't need to go compete with Amazon if you don't have to, right? So there's a couple on here. There's a merchant selling this one. There's a couple FBA products on here. So, so for example, Pokemon, let's go Eevee. You could click on the product score and say, you'll have great margin. You'll need to get some reviews to get sales. This listing is average quality. So potentially right? You can go look at this and say, okay, if I can buy this product for less than, you know, 43, less 77 or 777, can I make some money, right? So what this tool is allowing you to do is search for a lot of different products all at the same time. Now, this is the coolest part. Say that you did like this product. I don't know if this is a good opportunity, guys. I'm doing this 
you know, live and, and random. This is arbitrary examples. But say that you wanted to do further research, but you didn't want to stop what you're doing right now. All you have to do is click on this little star button over here. And to access your favorites later, all you have to do is click on the star over here and it will pull them all up. So if you're looking at a number of different video games, say you have, you know, an electronic supplier like, I don't know, DNH distributor or something like that, and they have a number of video games available and you want to compare the best ones, all you have to do is go go put them all in your favorites and then access them by the star. If you want to exit this view, all you have to do is click the star again and you'll go back to the search page. So on this on this on this page, it's going to give you a ton of information, but where you can actually get a little bit more information is you can click on say the niche score and it will give you a lot of different information. Why is this a seven out of 10? So it's likely to succeed, right? But what does that mean? So the profit is low, right? So if you're going to be selling video games, you're likely going to have to buy them where you're going to have slim margins. Now, if there's a lot of volume, is that okay? Well, it depends on your situation. But nonetheless, you have the information. Demand is great. There's high sales. Turns out a lot of people are still buying video games, guys. Surprise, right? I don't know if you've noticed, but Twitch is doing nothing but growing. And that will give you a good indication. So if there's an opportunity to sell video games, the demand is great. In my opinion, right? Potentially, it's okay to sell items if they're going to turn over really quickly, even if there's a low margin. But that's up for you to decide depending on what your business model is and, and what your cash flow situation is. All right, so the competition is medium, right? Meaning if you're going to compete in this category, you're going to have to go compete with some people. It's not easy. So it means that there's going to be some competition. You can go look through these. It's not, it's not monopolistic and you won't, com you won't compete with many strong sellers. But as you can see over here, it's a pretty it's a pretty competitive category and Amazon seems to be doing pretty well in this category. So I did this as an example, everybody. There still is some opportunities in here. Even in even in video games, you can find stuff. But the purpose of this tutorial is not for us to go find a product because you're gonna have a lot of different modules that will focus on just that. But I wanna show you how to use this tool so you know what information is available and you can decide whether or not this is something that you need. So the next thing I want to show you is, is the niche history. So this is going to show you the history of this category, right? For the video game category specifically. So this way you can say, okay, is there, is there trends? Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it profitable? Am I going to be able to compete? So everything you can look in here, it's going to be separated by sales, by rank and by price. So you can go and, and you can hover over any given portion of this and it's going to give you information. You can see, you can't see this probably very well, but it does give you a little bit of a highlight up and down the screen as to where you are, what the date is, what happens. And you can see, guess what? Right before Christmas, the sales go up, right? And that would make sense, right? And then after Christmas, they, they go down, boom, 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 right? And, and you can see that the price will also stay fairly stable over this, but it seems to follow the demand for sales. So when people aren't selling video games, they also are dropping the price. So anyways, tons of information in here. You know, you can go look at, you can go look at the price. You can look at the sales rank. You can look at the sales themselves. And then you can look at the date here on the bottom. So you can say, okay, if I'm, you know, if I'm going to be looking at, you know, some certain time of year, to be able to purchase this, is that going to make sense for me? So anyways, that's the niche history. If you wanna get a little bit more information, let's look at this Pokemon Go one because we already did it. Whoops, I didn't mean to go to the listing. If, if you want, you can actually just go click on the listing itself. But what you can do is say, I wanna add this to my tracker, right? I wanna look at the profit calculator. So it, all I did, and, and I, I kind of messed it up because I clicked on it. When you click on this bar up here, it's going to it's gonna pull up this other bar. If you click on the actual link, it's going to send you to the listing itself. That was my fault. I didn't mean to do that. But so you can add it to track it if you want to just follow it for a little bit. Or you can say, I want to look at the profit calculator. And this is going to give you real-time information. It will pull Amazon's, uh, it will pull the Amazon revenue calculator data. So you can get real real-time data right now. And so say you're looking at your supplier and you're saying, okay, I can buy this for 30 bucks. I don't know if you can buy this for 30 bucks, guys. I'm just putting in numbers here. Um, my additional cost, say it's going to cost me, you know, 20 cents a unit to, to send it to, 
Amazon, yada, 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 my additional monthly costs, you know, whatever. As you can see, it's in real time updating based on this information. So it's saying your profit per unit is going to be five bucks. So if I spend $30 on a unit and I make $5.50, right? So how many times do you want to give me $30 if I'm going to give you back $35.50? As many times as possible, right? Your net margin is $12.71, your ROI $18.31, and your estimated monthly profit is going to be $11,541. Now, this is given a lot of different things, meaning you are the only one selling it and, and a number of the things. But again, this is just a tutorial on the AMZ Scout Pro extension. So I don't want to get too deep into product analysis because this is just for you to see how this tool works exactly. You can go and add advanced filters, right, by clicking on the filter on the bottom. If you want to say, I only want to find products between a certain price, a certain rank, you know, inventory, number of sellers, all of these different things here, or I want to find ones that are, are only sold by FBA or they're sold by merchant or they're sold by Amazon, right? I want to hide the sponsored ads. And, and a lot of these things become very, very nice in the future because when you're doing a lot of product research and, and you happen to be, you know, looking at a sponsored ad or something and it kind of messes with all the averages, this is just a way to clean up all of your information. Now you can, you can click on all of these things down here. You can refresh it. If you think things have changed, you can click on the trends button you can, and what this is showing is all of the Google search history for video games, which is the category we're looking at over the past month, over the past actually years is what this is pulling up. A lot of times it depends on, so video games has a ton of, uh, search history. It's not always going to show five years. Sometimes usually it only shows about one year. But in this case, that it shows that there's enough data there, but clearly it's a pretty stable search history. In the past five years, people still like video games. And then, it, you know, you can go to, you can go look at the product history, right? I already showed you that. You can go look at, you can get the keywords that are being used as, as to how they're advertising this specific listing, if that's something that you'd want to do. Um, even in wholesale guys, uh, you know, if you do need to, you know, unload inventory or different things, this is a very simple way to say, hey, you know what, this is something that if I'm going to have a listing for this, I can potentially use this information. So again, you can, you can go, you can click copy ASIN if you want to go put that in some sort of tracking spreadsheet. So, you know, I could spend so much time on, this tool alone. Overall, it is a fantastic tool that gives you a lot of information. It gives you your fees, your estimated sales, your net margins, all on one page. You don't have to guess because this is the idea. We use tools because it makes our life not only a whole lot easier, but it is definitely going to make it so that we don't waste a lot of time doing things, you know, manual. Because if we're having to go click on this, look at our supplier, do math in, in Excel, you know, do all these things, not only is the probability higher for us to make a mistake, but it's it takes so much time, which we already don't have, right? We're doing this business likely to get some of our time back. And so when you use a tool like AMZ Scout Pro, it does cost money. It, it's going to be, it's it's going to save you so much time and so much effort and, and if you already have this tool, this tutorial is to just show you briefly how to use it. You know, if you feel like there's something, you know, you don't understand, still so leave us a question. I, I, I covered everything that I thought I could on this tool. But overall, you just want to use this to automate your product research so that you're not wasting your time. Make sure you use the favorites category so that every product that you want to compare will all show up under the star. And again, this is the AMZ Scout Pro Extension.